I'm quite sure for everybody who, you know, cannot open up these Crescent Rose, y'all probably don't like scary movies because of that pop. Breakfast alert, breakfast alert, new Pillsbury Crescent Rose, apple flavored, bam. Into y'all today, so don't be scared, don't be scared. So a lot of you guys have trouble with these Crescent Rolls, you don't know how to open them or you're hacking them up, you know, as you're trying to roll them out. But don't worry, we got you covered in this video and it's something fun. It's the apple flavor and it's a kick, which is good. You know, we a family of six, you guys, so one box is not going to be enough. And it's eight rolls in each box. And, you know, we got that stay-at-home order, so everybody in here today. Yeah, so we got the icing, and it's Tuan's birthday today, so whoop, Yeah, whoop, happy birthday. Today. We turned 12. We got the croissant oh, okay. rolls themselves. Two of those. We've got the apple filling with little teeny apple chunks. That looks very good. Got two packs of those. And we've got the icing that goes on top, the drizzle. It's up to daddy. He'll just take a whole pocket to himself and eat it by oh, himself. Crescent roll. So it's kind of like toasted strudels, but in a... In a croissant shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's so, like a delay. So you don't know when it's going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. But it's okay. We're going to give the pop the scare. So we're going to start right here at the beginning. It's got little instructions right there to tell you how to open it, but we've been opening biscuits since we was like two years old, so we're going to show you the old school method, so we're going to open it up, right? As you can see, no pop, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to give it a pop, so bam, karate chop. Okay, and if you got little hands, big hands, it don't matter because if you think that's the reason why you can't open up this can or you smack it up against the counter. Not to do though. Yeah, we ain't gonna do none of that. We're just gonna give it a good old karate chop. Cause you know some people like to just bang it up against the counter. Bam! Karate chop. Yeah. Take your energy out and smack it up a little bit. You know, you frustrated for the day. We in this house for Corona quarantine. Just go ahead and take the frustration out on the road. Bam! So then, once you get these out, you need to go ahead and open up the um, middle parts, the parts that you're gonna put on the inside. It's like a piping bag, right? Those of us that love pastries and love baking and things like that, you know, it's all pre-cut. So, you know, get started out, just unroll it, bam. And we're just gonna squeeze in a small line of it right at the back, right? So it's kinda like you gotta stay in the, in the lines. Yeah, pretty much, right? We all took art. Okay, so you just do it in the back. That's it. Yeah, you just put a nice stream of it in the back. And as you can see, I started like that. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to roll them up. Get your rolling skills on. Yeah, get your roll on. <laughs> Man, this one may be a little bit long, but the rest of them are going to look a little, a little better. Okay, and you're making some bacon on the side. Crispy bacon. No. I like that crispy. Bacon. I like the medium bacon. That jiggly bacon. Nah, that jiggly, but it's jiggly and soft. I like so. a little, a little softness. No, I don't like it too crunchy. I you like need to the hear medium. That. Nah, I don't. <laughs> that, that's that stuff will break your teeth. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with these croissants this morning, but they looking kind of crazy. Daddy just losing his touch. With nah, these this batch of croissants look a little crazy. Mm -hmm, like him <laughs> It was using a lot of filling though. I know, right? But I got it because on the um, <laughs> on the uh, cherry ones, it took mm -hmm. a while to get the filling no, proportion like right. Okay. Yes, I had a little better. practice. I had a little practice with the filling. You know, Daddy in the kitchen. When it's something he want, and he want to make sure it don't get messed up, oh, he gonna be right here, oh, you know, yeah. helping. So y'all you know, hey, know he wanted these for something. What they always it. say: if you want something done right. You Ooh. better do it yourself. Ooh. You better do it yourself. Oh, is that right? <laughs> okay. You keep it up. Keep it up. Get you right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tell him, lady. You're going to get him right. Oh. Oh. Y'all know. Get your husbands. Get your uh, partners. Yeah, I know. That's right. Get them right. So, as you can see... My croissant rolling skills in this batch ain't too good. <laughs> I think mommy set me up. Uh-uh, don't do that. 
She let these croissants sit on the counter for a minute. I did. Now, this is not a good representation, Pillsbury. I'm from the east side of America. And I'm not trying to do y'all bad. But, uh, so what you saying? They need to be more colder? The dough need to be colder and don't uh, sit out yes. on the counter? Because I left them on the counter. I was about to do something else. And then I was coming back. So long story short. And then with these crescent rolls, you guys, just take your time. You can't rush these crescent rolls, you know, as far as separating them. So, like, Daddy, if they get too warm, you know, by sitting out on the counter, don't rush it and then tear it all apart. That bacon. Let's see the progress of that bacon over there. It's got a long way to go for me. Way to go. Oh, bacon? Who doesn't love some good old bacon? And I ain't talking about that turkey stuff. Anything, look, look, look. Let's let's just get one thing clear right here. Let's just get one thing clear. Yeah, I need to finish up these. We're uh, gonna focus rolls. on these rolls, but let's just get one thing here with the bacon debate. All right. If it ain't made from a pig, it ain't bacon. It's bacon. We don't eat no fake bacon over here. For me, it's not the taste. It's just the texture thing because it doesn't get crispy for me. So that's why I don't really like the turkey bacon. Mm, that turkey faking. Daddy moving like a little turtle, right? turtle with these crescent rolls. You know, he's not used to being in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> right. So he got his little technique to try to keep the shape. He didn't want to separate them all at the same time. Crescent rolls is kind of like plastic wrap. You know how <laughs> plastic wrap is? Oh my goodness. You called it plastic wrap. Yes. Where we choose pride over character. Because the plastic wrap, if you just take it out straight off the plastic, it all tangled up and jumbled up. So it, this is kind of like the same thing with the <laughs> with the crest and roll. So let me know if you guys agree because it's just tricky. But you just got to get a good technique with the plastic wrap. Oh, that's how y'all make it. Y'all put the dough in the inside of it. I didn't know how Daddy did it too. I'm kind of glad he is making it because I didn't know. I would have to look at the box. <laughs> yes. I had to look at the box. The cherry ones, I was still having so much icing left over. I mean, so much of the innards left over. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why you want to make sure you add a little bit more this time around. Yeah. Okay, so quick intervention here. You see this burnt to a crisp? No, this is my bacon. This, this is what I hold like. On, hold on, listen to this. You, oh, you, you hear that? You dropping my bacon. You hear that? Stop, don't mess my bacon. Oh my up. god. But yes, this is that delicious crispiness bacon. And then We're talking about some real look at this, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this jiggly. That's not done enough. That. That's that. not done enough to me. That That's jiggly perfect. bacon. Boy, we're gonna cut this off right here. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we got the finished product here. Look at the little bit of filling popping out. Mm. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna put the finishing touch on the icing. Just look at that icing, just drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Make sure you do it while it's still hot, so the ice can just ooze, you know, every little We're gonna tear these croissants up, y'all. They are delicious. We out. See ya.